Hello everyone, Nick Costetti here, Technical Service Manager for FMC. Today we are in central Indiana evaluating a no-till burndown study where we are looking at several different herbicide combinations, tank mix with glyphosate and 2,4-D for broad spectrum foliar activity in an early pre-plant situation. A little bit about our trial design, the center two rows are treated and we do have a running check in between each treatment. So I was able to go out to these running checks and um, collect a few specimens that I would consider uh, more of driver weed species for this area. And the first one being mare's tail. So mare's tail has adapted and uh, we are seeing biotypes that can emerge both in the fall and spring. And so represents an extended emergence interval, which is characteristic of many of the uh, difficult to manage weed species that we deal with. Uh, mare's tail also has a robust resistance profile, which can make it challenging to control. And we have to make sure that we're selecting effective active ingredients when targeting um, this weed. Another factor that makes mare's tail more difficult to control is weed height at the time of application. So um, mare's tail is most vulnerable to herbicides before it is bolted and uh, you know in the rosette stage. At this site, typically our mare's tail is gonna start bolting around mid-May. So very critical to manage the species prior to that point in time. Um, the other species that uh, I found in the check strips that it, that's important to note would be common lambs quarters. So common lambs quarters is a summer annual species, but it does emerge earlier in the spring and it can be difficult to control with our burn down herbicide applications, especially as uh, those are delayed due to maybe different priorities or weather events. And, and so as we delay that application, um, the cuticle on common lambs quarters thickens as it matures and it becomes much more difficult for herbicide penetration and translocation. So very critical to manage this species early in the season as well. In this particular trial, we are evaluating Panaflex herbicide and just drilling down to um, the specifics around that product. It is a premix of tribinuron, which would be expressed as a solo active ingredient. And of course, that molecule is going to provide foliar activity on many of our general winter annual species, um, but in particular, ALS susceptible common chickweed. It's also premixed with uh, thyphen sulfuron, which would be Harmony SG in terms of the solo active ingredient. And Harmony is going to provide excellent activity on some of those tough to control species, such as uh, common lambs quarters, but also uh, improving our foliar activity on the winter annual weed spectrum. With thyphen sulfuron, it is more stable in the soil and we do get some residual out of it. So it makes sense in that early pre-plant situation or maybe even a fall trip. So we typically recommend Panaflex herbicide applications in the fall or spring in those tank mixtures, typically with glyphosate and an auxin, um, kind of regardless in the fall or depending upon your trait system in the spring. And so one of the key benefits for Panaflex is the rotation friendliness. So we could rotate to corn or soybeans if applying in the fall. If we apply it early in the spring, uh, we would need to wait seven days to plant soybeans and 14 days to plant corn. So again, if we're targeting our winter annual weed spectrum, you know, prior to flowering, in addition to our mare's tail prior to bolting, we shouldn't have much of an issue in terms of applying this, you know, 14 days ahead of corn or seven days ahead of soybeans. So the use rate for Panaflex is gonna range from three tenths to six tenths of an ounce. So we focus on that half ounce use rate in those tank mixtures and it will improve our overall foliar spectrum as well as provide some residual control to really set us up nicely in terms of starting clean and staying clean with that overlapping residual applied near planting. In terms of herbicide application opportunities, the fall burndown market is quickly approaching. And so one thing that we like to note when making those fall applications is that we wanna wait until the soil temperature is approaching 55 degrees and decreasing. Also the daytime temperature uh, should be above 50 degrees when we make that application. And we like to have relatively high sunlight intensity, which is gonna facilitate uh, quicker absorption and translocation of the foliar applied materials for the weeds that are up. And then as we think about that soil temperature uh, decreasing, it will extend our residual activity uh, later into the spring. 